We've got a dynamic picture in Excel that changes based on a cell. Watch. So I'll change this to amber. Now, if you want to know how to do this, keep watching. So let's do this. So I've inserted um, the traffic like icon here by going on the insert ribbon, selecting icon, search for the traffic light, then I've inserted it in here. Uh, I've inserted three of those, and then I've created three circles, an amber one, a green one, and a red one. And all I've done simply is I've lined them up and I've combined the circles with the traffic like icon. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the first one, and I'm gonna create some name ranges. So I'm gonna highlight those cells with that traffic light in, and then I'm gonna type red and hit return. And then I'll do the same for the amber and the green. So. There, done. So I've now named these ranges, created name ranges that relate to the cells that contain these pictures. And the other thing I'm gonna do here, just to make sure the grid lines don't show up, is I'm gonna to go to View, and I'm gonna take off the grid lines. Now, I'm gonna to go to my Rags tab. So again, I've taken the grid lines off here and just created this, set, um, this formatting here with current rag. And I'm going to create a drop down using data validation in this cell. So I'm going to go data, data validation, list, and then I'm going to type the name ranges red, amber, green, and click OK. So now I've got my red, amber, green. I'm then going to create a named range, another name range, and I'm going to do that with a formula. So I'm going to go formulas, name manager. There's my three name ranges that I created. I'm going to do new. I'm going to do R for range, rag. And I'm going to hit this up arrow here. And I'm going to type equals indirect. Remember, indirect converts any text reference to a range. So I'm going to do indirect, select this cell, close bracket, and then I'm going to do the drop down here, the, the down arrow to enter it, and then click OK and close. Now, I'm going to set this to red here, and then I'm going to go finally over to the traffic logs where I've created these icons, and I'm going to select the first range here, which is red, and do control copy. And over here, I'm going to right click, paste special, and I'm going to paste a linked picture. There you go. Now, all I'm going to do is within the formula bar of this linked picture is I'm going to change this formula to be equals R rag, like so, and hit return. Now, this is where the magic happens, hopefully. So let me just center that as well. I do a drop down and change that to amber, it changes. And the picture changes based on what's in that cell. And there you go, there's a neat way to create an interactive um, link picture by creating a rag traffic light.